So recently we have released a video covering a topic of how to update a firmware on the Hikvision security network camera. And if you need it and you didn't see it, there's a prompt for you in that corner and a link in the video description. So this time I got right to me a Hikvision on VR and DVR video recorders and I'm about to update a firmware for them using three methods and every single of which is demonstrated next on the video. You're on the People Systems channel, my name is Daniel, we begin. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. As specified earlier, we have got three ways to update a firmware on any Hike Vision on VR or a DVR, for both of which the instruction is identical. Number one is via a web interface, number two is via batch configurator tool, and number three is via IVMS 4200. All these tools are free to use and can be downloaded from a Hike Vision website, and I have left all the links to the software in the description for you and also for you to not lose any time i have left timestamps for you to rewind to the part that you need in the first pinned comment in the comment section and now let's start off from the option number one a web interface note that the following part is identical for all three options that we review today so to locate device serial number and to download a firmware itself and further in the video i will be referring to exactly this part so, first of all, you need a full video regular serial number or a factory marking. So, and uh, note that this instruction is applicable to every high vision on VR and DVR, regardless of their class and features. And you can locate yours on the video record box somewhere right over here, like you see on mine, and on the informational plate somewhere on a device body. So, here's my high vision on VR, and here's that informational plate. And you can also locate that serial number in a high vision PC tools used to work with the appliance, such as CADP tool or batch configurator and uh, IVMS 4200s, and also directly on the web interface of the device. And I'm going with the IVMS 4200s option, uh, where I got my video record activated and added into my account and device list. Here's it on top 7604 uh, and I. Now, uh, memorizing the serial number, there is it, we can just expand or not, but there is it, yeah. And then we go to Hikvision website, just get here, hikvision.com, there is it, come on, we will locate, yeah, such a search button, and what we do, we just simply type in our on VR factory marking, or DVR, whatever, DS-760404, dash and I and search and by the way it may be a different website layout for your country but the idea is the same now here's the list with my search results and there is it and four let me just check it k14 p b and site so there's the the record i was looking for pressing and yeah i am redirected to product card now scroll down and got the download center and I, here I have a firmware tab where I press firmware download press and save and well it just gives me the latest available firmware for my NVR. and yeah I'm saving a file to now be gone just waiting a five seconds come on you can do it faster all right now I open the folder and unzip Extract all, extract, and now I got a folder with the exact firmware file named digicap.dav. Then, for a purpose of updating record as firmware, we are going to its web interface via Internet Explorer or the Mozilla Firefox. And note that these browsers are actually mandatory to make it all work proper. So we type in record as IP address, ignoring this at a very security search. What is this? I don't know, I'm not opening the Internet Explorer only for the video. Now I'm allowing this extension to work. Okay, now I don't need this one. All right, I'm putting my user data and logging into my video record is web interface. All right, so there's no live video because I've got no cameras on it right now. Now, uh, what we're doing now, we're going to configuration tab right away. Go into system, system settings, 
and maintenance. There is it. And here in the bottom, you've got the upgrade button with a firmware. So, yes, press and browse. There is it. Locating our firmware file that I've got in done that. There we go in the folder. And did you get baby and pressing open. Now, the only thing it's uh, there's left to do, yeah, to press the upgrade button. You will see a prompt saying that the record needs to reboot after installing the firmware. And well, that is totally fine. So we just press OK. And now the progress bar appeared, and that means everything is just going the way we want it to happen. Now, yeah, wait until the process is completed. And well, after that is done, you are ready to walk with a device running a new firmware. Congratulations! And now, the option number two. Option number two allows us to update an NVR or DVR firmware with a specialized software named Bash Configurator that you can see right here. And it is free and can be downloaded from a high vision website. The link is in the description. And so, from a previous part, we have got our video record serial number, and we have also downloaded a firmware file named digicat.dav. So, we skip it here and go to the firmware update process itself. And first of all, get this batch configurator tool from a link in the description and then install it like a common program. Once you are here in the program, down here, locate your device, check the box left to it and press add. Uh, on a manner of identically the first option, input your username, the admin for me, and the password. Let me do it. There we go. Now the device will appear on top with the online status, meaning everything is just great. Now, on top here, this button that we were coming for. Pressing it, and the tap on your right with will appear with the upgrading mode. So, this named upgrade. Now, we press here and locating our downloaded file. Here is it, Digicam Navy, DAV, and pressing open. And yeah, of course, pressing the OK. And now, there we go. The progress bar appeared. I want to ex expand it. And after the update is finished, your video recorder will reboot and that's totally okay. On this stage, you just have to wait a few minutes for the process to complete. And after this is done, you are finally ready to work with your NVR on DVR running a new firmware. And now, the option number 3. For the option number 3, you need the installed Hikvision IVMS 4200 tool. And if you don't have one on your PC, welcome to the video description where I have left all the links to IVMS download page on Hikvision website. In the IVMS 4200s, we need a device management tab that called maintenance and management, and I'm right on it. Now, I'm going to add my NVR from a bottom online search field to the device management field in the upper part to be able to walk with the device. So I'm checking the box left to it and pressing add. Naming it, that will be 767604 and I. Username, admin, and the password. So yeah, uh, and again. So it's no different from the web interface or batch, and we're done. The model name appeared on top. Here is it. Serial number, uh, online status, and also don't let this not available version in the firmware upgrade column misled you. High Vision Appliance doesn't support online firmware upgrade, so every time you have to do it manually like we do it right now. Now we go into device remote configuration by checking the box here and pressing this cog button. From here we go to the system and system maintenance step. And here, well, you got the remote upgrade item. Item. God, item. There is it. So first of all, we're gonna select the file, so press here, locate the downloaded, pre-downloaded digicap.dav firmware file and press it. Now, the only thing you left to do just to press upgrade button. You will see the prompt saying that the after update device is going to reboot and that's fine. Okay. Now, the process has begun and after it is done, you can continue walking with your NVR or DVR just like you did before, but running a new firmware. That's it. We went through three options to update a firmware on any high vision on VR or DVR. And to say something in the end, I'm sure you will agree that with me that that was highly simple and fast. 
Though, if you've got some more complicated conditions or need help, ask about that in the comment section below the video. I and my team will answer every single one. And by the way, we can help you select your perfect video surveillance system consisting of a bunch of a network cameras, on the RSO DVRs, alarm sensors, intercom systems, and a lot else in the People System store. Follow the link in the description and specify you are People subscriber to get a better offer. Thank you for watching.